Okay. Yes. Hi, Namita. I just invited you to join into the live. Please accept. I hope she gets to accept it. Okay. So I have accepted her live request. I'm so sorry we had to come back. Uh thank you for joining back everybody. I am trying to something is up with Instagram. It's always giving me a problem. Come on. Okay again it is telling that Namita is not able to join in why is that Let me try Oh my god finger crossed <laughs> Hi Oh Bye my god I was almost going to die of a heart attack Hi <laughs> Hi okay. how are you I'm good you're looking beautiful and so fresh oh, taza taza you. you're looking <laughs> you you are glowing thank you i wanted to glow my favorite person was coming online today so i'll start with your introduction again uh basically you're a home baker and today i wanted to talk about sweets and chocolates and then i invited you over and you were very very um you know welcoming and you said yes instantly you gave me a date and everything that was so sweet thank you so, First thing I want to tell is you've had like a very big impact in my life as soon as you know you entered it. <laughs> There's a proper change. I'm glad. <laughs> Some use to you at least. <laughs> yeah, so you're a mental health consultant a uh, consultant, sorry, my you know my tongue is twisting. I was so nervous that you were not able to join. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you are a mental health consultant and uh, recently you have started with your uh, baking journey and i love everything that you bake it is so yummy i mean, like i remember coming over to your place and trying all these treats and falling in love with them instantly and then i was like rum chocolate chai that was my first thing you know i, I was like uh-huh. so in love so Thank let's you. start from the top and i would like to ask you how did you start how did you fall in love with baking and you know uh, tell me something about your journey all right uh, okay baking was always my hobby i can say probably from the school time uh yeah i've always you know tried to bake cakes i mean my first cake i actually burnt it so it was rock- i know i i till today burn cakes and you know you are fabulous at it that's how i started actually so basically you know it was just on trials that i've got to where i am here so mm-hmm. yeah again it started uh, at my early uh, probably i think 8th 9th standard i guess i started baking and that time we had these small uh, microwaves you know that had just come into the market those days so i still have it <laughs> so microwaves are very very different from the actual oven so the heat is more mm-hmm. so yeah. and when, you, you have know, a huge thing at home right yeah so i started baking from there and mm-hmm. uh, yeah so uh, it was just on experiment that i tried dry cakes and uh, you know and yeah in those days google was also not that uh, very prominent for me to search things so it was all on my aunts used to bake and stuff like that so here and there i used to get information and try on my own so the actual uh, nam stocko's concept basically came uh, what i can uh, coincidentally uh, this day last year was the actual date i made a chocolate cookie with the help of my friend so my friend neha i don't know if she's so online now. Oh, yeah. yeah so this is the day that in you know, 2020 peak lockdown uh, i got uh-huh. to make a chocolate chip cookie all thanks to my uh, school friend neha i don't know if she's uh-huh. here so i hope she's listening so yeah so she, she basically definitely see it later like yeah yeah so she basically taught me uh, how to make a chocolate chip cookie uh, without using an oven so basically it was on the tawa so yeah oh. 
fantastic i mean i mean it took us about say 25 to 30 minutes to get the thing so i was very impressed you know and i'm like oh my god a cookie can be made so easily and we pay a bomb outside i i don't know if i'm allowed to say that here but yeah yeah, yeah. we do we do yeah it, it is quite for one yeah. cookie spend but i mean to make something at home and as crispy as what you get outside was just mind blowing so wow. that Yes, so that basically inspired me, and yes, I did try her method of putting it on the tawa. Another two trials that I did, but mm-hmm. uh, then somewhere uh, I already had uh, these chocolates going. You know, I had already okay. started uh, making chocolates, and I'm into chocolates also. That you know, the, that's yes. what you mentioned. Obviously, right? that's that's <laughs> why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. basically. Uh, I don't know this concept while we were just you know uh, looking at uh, cookies and you know I was trying to make those cookies and stuff like that I said okay you know this is a nice addition to my chocolates probably when I'm making chocolates I can just push in two three cookies as samples and see how it works so yeah. so initially yeah but wow. uh, another I was making these cookies on the tawa and i have uh, you know i have an oven which i hadn't used it at all i mean from the time i moved into my place and it was brand new i didn't even yeah. you know not use it basically so yeah. i said okay, why not try in the oven so the choco chip cookie was uh, i mean the first few trials went bad in the oven but gradually okay. you know would not have to manage on the you know uh, the temperature the heat and everything so i learned it in process and uh, yes yeah, so uh, choco chip cookies were something that started very well and then i started experimenting with menu now like from where you started your menu is elaborate and the kind of varieties yeah. you have is amazing mind blowing so choco chip is yeah, one and yeah i started with uh, butter cookies and then it went on to dry fruits so basically i started getting uh, you know uh, suggestions from people saying that why don't you try this why don't you try that so it was more like a welcoming suggestion so i said okay i will try but i will not promise but fortunately everything was a hit you know uh, it was wow. uh, the chip cookies and then uh, i think you really have that you know some people are blessed with good taste in their hands i think yeah. probably that's a blessing yeah. that you have thank you thank you so much i mean it's <laughs> so i mean uh, yeah then uh, uh, so again, i guess like there are so many people joining in they're saying hi this asba uh, i know her from i think one of the events and she's a she's also someone who is uh, doing well for herself an entrepreneur and also she has kids at home so i can clearly see a very big difference in the uh, you know audience that joined in previously for other stuff and for you actually i i can see people who are interested in baking yeah, wow that's my really and also i think mohita and another cousin of mine ramya who's just joined hi hello <laughs> so everyone thank you so much for joining us so hi <laughs> yeah so uh, sorry okay coming back to cookies then i did have requests for uh, you know people with uh, diabetes and stuff like that so they wanted yeah. me to uh, yeah so they basically wanted me to use less sugar and stuff like that so yeah, um, yeah so uh, you basically you also when i asked you for chocolates even then you asked me do, do you want it like you know sugar free or you want it you are, like that was so nice you, you like customize it to everybody's requirements yes yes i do that and uh, so basically the other portion of cookies what i do for the health uh, you know uh, health uh, what do you say uh for the people who are very health conscious so i have done um oats cookies ragi cookies yeah uh it's kind of loading ah oh, it's stuck light makes my eyes water oh my god it's stuck for a while let's see i hope it comes back Hello everybody hi Lindsay uh thank you so much for coming and joining you guys mean so much I am just trying to revive the net oh god no <laughs> net is stopped okay let me try and invite her back on the live oh i hope this works 
Why? It's such an interesting conversation. <gasps> I hope it's not my net. Wi-Fi is quite good here. Uh, Suru23, I'm so sorry I cannot take in a request right now. I have a guest. So maybe after the guest is done, I will try and take in a request, okay? Something is wrong with the internet today. Like really wrong. Ha, huh, we're back. Wow. I, <laughs> my heart is just... <laughs> I think I'm going to have like a cardiac arrest. <laughs> you look stuck at I ragi cookies. You got stuck at rag ragi cookies. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so for all the health conscious people, um, it was oats and ragi that I first experimented on. So that, that was a great hit as well. And my latest uh, creation was lentils. Okay. So, yeah, so I do it with uh, lobia, a uh, horse gram. Okay. Yeah. And moong dal. Wow. So these three, yeah, so these are the cookies that I do right now. <laughs> wow, that's so, so cool. Yeah. Uh, so these are my different type of cookies. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, yeah, to just mention, all these are vegan cookies. I don't use eggs in any of these cookies. Oh, that's yeah. really lovely. Yeah, so I because there are so many pure vegetarians out there who look at, like, you know, eggless ones. Uh, I know of, okay. like, you know, yeah, they look at eggless ones. And there are only very one or two places that cater to that. But now that you make Because I have more. Yeah. And I really love like one yeah. fact about you. It's like you're very dildar. Okay. Like I love that about you. You're so generous. <laughs> when it comes to your cakes also, I have seen. <laughs> I remember you telling me that, you know, uh, yeah, 500 grams ka cake becomes 900 grams. <laughs> but, you know, when I have seen the pictures and it feels like heart filling and eye filling pictures for a chocolate lover like me. I see your cake yeah. like completely topped with a proper deliciousness of chocolate, like full. So I love that <laughs> about you. Yeah, but I, the thing is, you know, uh, because wherever I used to go and order for cakes, you know, I'm, I'm not talking about these big uh, bakers, but, uh, you know, the normal ones, I think people look. Yeah, the Sorry? normal bakers at least. Yeah. The normal cake. Yeah. So uh, basically what I uh, started seeing in people is they like the way you present it. And that's an eye-catching actually. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> probably... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just that, you know, I, I think when you're giving somebody a cake, you know, I think the first look of it should be like, oh my God, amazing. I mean, it looks delicious. Yeah. I don't know if it tastes delicious, it but does. yeah, it should it look amazing. Ah. No, no. Yeah, you I mean, really I'm... underrate yourself, I tell you. <laughs> no, it is very nice. I mean, definitely got very good reviews um, of the cakes and uh, stuff. But uh, yeah, so other than these cakes, I have tried my hand on donuts. Um, you know, Eclair um, is my then favorite. Eclair. Yes, yeah. I've tried it at your house. Oh my God, look at me. Like, I wish I had like the opportunity to eat. <laughs> you told me, yeah, you please come over. Yeah. But then my mother wasn't letting me out. Yeah. <laughs> I it's okay. We we'll plan it after your vaccination. Yeah, I'm waiting to come over and have like a lot of sweet. I'm anyways put on a lot of weight now. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, so cool. Like so nice. I, yeah. Like you know, I love that about you. You're extremely generous. And you know what happens with home baking and home cooking of yours is that, uh, yeah, people pay for it, but then you make it with so much of love. It's seen in the you know in the cakes and the cookies and. Yeah. I remember you gave me one big dabba of uh, rum chocolates. Like, it was so full. I, I I was stopping everybody from eating it. And I was like, no, I need to make a video. Hold it and stuff. It's like... So something, somewhere in Coog or something, right? You had taken them to Coog or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Some... Yes, I took, the, took nice. it there. But then, honestly, like, it was so heart-filling more than anything, you know? You can see how much effort and love you put into those, like... 
each and everything every little piece was packed and so well like done you know it was so good and it tasted way better after a few days again like you know and you did it like on time you tried to finish it on time so coming to that i want to tell you how are you managing your home i know you have a dog you have a husband you have a child you're feeding your children <laughs> and you're feeding everybody else like you know i don't know how you stand in the kitchen for so long <laughs> really yeah i mean it's so far so good i mean it's it's going hands on with everything together But yeah, I start my day early, so I'm up by say five forty-five, and I take my walks, and then breakfast time, and my son's online classes. So I try and finish everything say by around eleven, eleven thirty, so that I can give my entire time on baking for the rest of the day. Because I take an order say about two days in prior, so I get time to plan as to yeah, how I, I have to do and what I. what is the priority that i have to give first whether it's the chocolates or cakes yeah or, because i remember you, know? you whenever i would call you you would be like i am at the grocery getting all the you know items and i'm sure like since you said you did it, you started it last lockdown it was kind of tough like to get the groceries in the first place and then yeah. Yeah. mashallah oh, yeah. you've had uh, amazing amount of orders like i loved seeing the pictures and everything was so good Thank you so much. Yeah, so how has your journey been? Like it has been taxing. I remember at a point you were like, I I just need a little bit of a break. So how are you, you know, doing this now? Uh, yeah, so far so good. I mean, this portion of the lockdown, I mean, say from uh, uh, May, I think April, May, it went in a little slow. Uh, but yeah, it's been picking up right now. I, I don't know. Probably it was because of the second wave. I think it which hit everyone very badly. So. the business went down a bit but yes it is picking up i am getting orders right now for birthdays and my mom's birthday too oh so i i am planning to bake a cake after this call okay. so maybe i can share pictures yes, yes, <laughs> later so do, yes i am uh, one of my friend linsi has asked are your chocolates i don't know how to pronounce this word please forgive me if i'm pronouncing it wrong uh coverture <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh yes nikhat i wish you could order from chennai to um hi ye connection meri to jaan hi le lega bachche ki jaan lega oh my god she is not even in this search list anymore oh my god Oh my god what do i do now guys suggest what do i do like this connection is going on like you know and she's a treat to be with any suggestions what can i do how can i get her back online it's not really showing ha huh, fine i found her fingers crossed oh my god oh, i hate this <laughs> I know. I know. You are such a treat to be with, especially with my sweet tooth and everything. I'm already drooling talking about all of this, and then it keeps going off. I'm like, oh my god, no! So there was this um, one of my friend called Lindsay. She's a baker as well. She's just a uh, uh, what to say, um, out of passion. You know, she bakes. So she uh, she has asked, "Are you chocolates? C O U V E R." T U R E, because I don't know how to pronounce it. I feel like a child right now. No? Oh no! Oh no! It's again loading. Oh my God, guys! What do I do? Hi. I swear, today's internet connection is really bad. Hmm. till then if you guys have questions let me just <laughs> it is so bad what do i say <laughs> i know i'm just like i have no idea what to do now Okay, let me uh, wait for her to join back in again because we have quite a bit planned. Okay.
<coughs> it is just like how do and it, I don't have scoff or anything of that sort, but just a little thing in the throat. But my number. So many nice people have joined in. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. It really means a lot. What do I do now? Huh, I found her. Every time I find her, I'm like, please, God, please, please, just fix the connection. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening but yeah, I don't know it's uh, the network issue. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to be like to chocolates, right? Or oh, let me just put my camera. Up. Yeah. So uh yeah, basically no, my chocolates are not coverture, but I do definitely use the other kind of compounds because uh coverture chocolates are basically, you know, these chocolates are skimmed to an extent where you can dip your cookies and truffles or put it on the truffles and cookies and use. So I make chocolates with the com uh, regular compounds that we use in the market. So I don't make the chocolate compound. Ah, okay, okay. I am just crossing my fingers be like I don't want it to get lost again please. <laughs> yeah, I, and I also wanted to put some light on your creative side. You have oh. decoupage bottles. Do you have them around with you right now? Yeah, um okay, I'll have to just get off my seat for about um yes. two yes. Still okay? I'll I'll check out the comments for you. So uh, I'll I'll tell them that decoupage is a technique done to probably decorate bottles of all kind of you know mediums i think glass mostly right yes it it can be on anything basically it can be on wood it can be on ceramic it can be on glass it can be on porcelain so anything yeah okay uh, yeah can you so yes, to you quickly get and come yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 i don't want you to go away <laughs> okay So yes uh oh my god it is again uh, buffering for some reason and my eyes water in front of this light does that happen to you guys as well it's like a ring light oh uh, so any questions uh, basically she delivers all over bangalore okay um uh, so if you want to uh, order with her you can and she's very good at it Oh, I had a doubt that it will get cut. I was so scared. I swear. Oh, I I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Is it just me or is it like, you know, everybody's cameras when you are in, in on a video, it zooms in like very uncomfortably, very close to you. <laughs> when I go to camera and a picture, I look like smaller, but on a video I look like really big. let me just see if she has come back and if i can find her till then if anybody else wants to be on a live with me you can because i kept getting requests and i could not uh, you know get them to join in yes i found her i think i'm really going to be Okay yeah oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them I'll just push the camera a little away so yeah so okay yeah oh wow uh, like it's not very clear but yeah I can see a bit of it no it's not very clear yeah right okay mm. and I don't want to lose you again so <laughs> so yeah i when i saw those bottles at your house i really liked it probably i can share the pictures of your bottles once you upload them and uh, uh, 
tell me how they can be decorated according to like what you know and you know how you choose to decorate with those kind of bottles okay see uh, even this basically was an inspiration from my cousin uh, i think you've met her uh, she's a doctor dr saujanya yeah. yes she's a guy nag and every girl needs one <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So basically, she pulled me for these classes. Uh, it was just one day class where uh, we did uh, decoupage. Um, then uh, we did a couple of uh, other crafts as well. So, but this caught our eye the most because you know we had so many bottles lying at home, and uh, instead of giving yes. it away to Madhi, so <laughs> so this was something like I uh, know. <laughs> So I said, okay, you know, you you can actually make something out of a glass bottle. That's very very interesting. So we tried at home. So basically, you know, you just so uh, for example, if you're just taking this bottle, uh, see, uh, yeah, you just have to use a base color. See, all the paints that you use on these bottles are acrylic paints. Yeah, yeah. So everything is acrylic. so um, now it's nothing but initially you'd have to given a base paint which is white in color okay mm mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then you uh, top it over with the actual you blend it and uh, see mm-hmm. basically for decoupage is if you can see this portion right this blends yeah, yeah. well with yeah. your uh, bottle so basically this is called as a german tissue where you get it oh. in places like itsy bitsy and all that so basically the it will be like a tissue paper a okay. normal tissue there will be art okay. on that tissue but that tissue will basically have three layers of paper so when you take okay. off the last layer of paper is when you get that actual design so you it, it is a process basically you'll have to place it on the bottle once the bottle is dry uh uh-huh. oh my god again <laughs> I like I don't want to lose you again. Yeah so you you actually um I love the fact that you explore yourself so much in you know with your creative side and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is more like a fun video, you know. <laughs> Today so we just in silent. in this video half the time I'm like please don't disappear please don't disappear <laughs> yeah it's like a magic trick suddenly yeah. appearing and suddenly disappearing <laughs> yeah exactly so uh yeah so we're uh, coming back to decoupage so basically this is it's a process you know it takes about 3 to 4 hours to complete each bottle so you have to yes, and out. every bottle of yours is different every yeah. bottle of yours is so different and it's so like i really loved it like you remember i came to your place and i was okay i said how did you do this it was so cool and you know the way you have decorated it on the shelf and everything was really nice i wish the connection was clear for us to like explore oh. the shelf next time we can have a session on decoupage <laughs> i know we should like i really like that about you see you don't not no you don't sit idle you know in a way like you are just taking care of your family and that's a handful okay yeah. but you don't <laughs> just do that and you sit but then you keep exploring yourself you are already very well of course you're very well knowledge and you know well educated the way you spoke to me being a you know mental health consultant consultant and everything you still managed to take care of your family so well and plus you did all of this also and i know that you are the only one in the lockdown you were cleaning your house you were cooking you did everything on your own yeah yeah i know i know i've only been that yeah i'm sure yeah true yeah it's it's been a wonderful journey and uh, yeah i definitely would want to uh, market my uh, you know uh, i'm want to market nams chocos in a much more i mean i think this is a great platform to start off with thanks to you that you're getting me you uh. know good but uh, yes i definitely would want to uh, make nams chocos available to everyone and at least i want people to know about what nams chocos is all about so i do have a page also on insta so whoever is you know oh on here God. yeah you know you all can just have a look and uh, yes this is a startup yes, inshallah i hope that you have like a very 
big store someday and with all the chocolates possible because you're amazing at it you know inshallah inshallah and you i want to mention that you've been the biggest support of my life every time like i'm the <laughs> Yeah, you've always been there. You've always been at a call's distance. I could call you any time, reach out to you any time, and you know it. It's just so nice to have you. You know, thank you. Selflessly by my side. So when I started my little partner repellent, also, and you were one of my first. Like you know, you were like get me one, <laughs> and one of your friends took it away from you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I definitely want another one when we are meeting up next time. So please do get me another partner repellent. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank so you that's... so much yeah, for doing this. I wish the connection was a little more better. Uh-huh. It's actually very interesting to talk to you. Thank you. Yes, we will definitely do a session soon. At least you know, probably on mental health. I think that's also a need of the hour. So yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But uh, uh, right now, uh, we like I was concentrating on brands and uh, cross promotion mostly. I really wanted businesses to grow more than anything. Yes. That is the reason why, and I really love your chocolates. So that's Thank the reason you. why I just like very fast reached out to you, and I was like, "No, I'm doing this. You want to come <laughs> and do a live with me?" I really needed something like this to at least showcase what I do. and i think this is an amazing start and i just wish to go ahead from here so just hoping for the best definitely i hope you are loaded with you know a lot of chocolate orders cake orders cookie orders and everything i am just so happy and blessed to have you in my life hi <laughs> again it's going away hmm The guy, she has been a very big, uh, you know, selfless support in my life, and I can tell you her her cakes and chocolates and cookies and all of them are very very nice. You must try and order from her and you know get to know it for yourself. Hi, it's always very difficult to get in touch with her. This video has been magical in many ways. It you know keeps going and coming back. So guys thank you so much for joining in and um, you know supporting so much it was really lovely having all of you here <laughs> now how to order from chennai i'll ask namita and tell you <laughs> i have no clue i ah, yes uh i'm trying to <coughs> Hi! Wow! <laughs> Magical video. <laughs> Seriously, man, I just don't like the connection today. Yeah, it's okay. It's not in our hands. But you know, one of my friends, Nikhat, has asked her how to order from Chennai. Oh yes, you can order, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, see, um, what do I say? I do send it through uh, Blue Dart. or basically blue dart is something that i use because i have shipped to hyderabad vijayawada and um, yeah got it's gone all the way to kerala so yeah masala so amazing that's so ship. cool yes i do ship but cakes will be a little difficult but chocolates and cookies yes any time it can go so yeah so but chennai is so hot doesn't it like melt or something i don't know yeah, chocolates uh, no i the way i pack it and send it it will reach you all in about a day's time so chocolates and cookies no problem at all but cakes i think it will slightly be a disaster so i don't want to promise on the cakes right now but if everything goes yeah. okay probably if nam's chocos grows maybe we can have something in chennai soon <laughs> so let's see <laughs> Oh my god that is really going to be time but yeah hi the connection connection is gone mm-hmm. okay it's come back <laughs> oh my god like literally this whole video i'm just like no no but so cool yeah oh my god like i really hope you all get to get your hands on it it's a must try Order from Nam's Chocos, like it's my favorite. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much to Namu for doing this, and thank you so much for being in my life and being such a big support in my life. 
thank you so much i mean you're just making me fly today <laughs> thank you no 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 it, it like i'm not able to do justice to the kind of person that you are and how much you've been there for me uh inshallah in the next video when we're talking about mental health we'll be able to touch on those topics and you know probably help out many more like us ah oh, hi hi <laughs> okay I swear the internet connection man internet connection kisne banaya usko dhoondo aur pakdo <laughs> I swear ah okay anyways i will tell namita thank you for coming and i would try to take your leave also because the connection is really horrible and i'm just happy that i was able to show you a glimpse of her and how she runs her business how hard working she is so that you know you get to know who's the one behind nams chocos and you know who you're ordering from thank you so much and see you guys on the next live tomorrow which is happening at around 5 pm let me check <laughs> she is also another one of my best friends she has been around with me for um about 10 years also her name is nikhat and we are going to have gray line yes nikhat is here on the live so i think the timing is mostly uh, 5 pm okay 5 pm or 4 pm i will uh, update you on the time i am going to post a story about it so guys if you are into architecture if you are into interiors and everything stay tuned come and join me tomorrow and we are going to have lots of fun talking about interiors and architecture okay see you guys bye